Okay, so there's been multiple Windows updates and an entire new version, Windows 11, that promised increased HDR compatibility. So I thought to myself, I should make another video because who knows, maybe everything's different. I am cautiously optimistic. I did some tests, okay. I decided, you know, maybe it's the cable. I bought a new DisplayPort cable without HDR on, still worked fine. But then I turned HDR on and <laughs> it, it did the same washed out color thing. Couldn't get it to look right. Uh, then the weird thing now with Windows 11 is then I turned HDR off and the color on the monitor was like, it was almost like it went down to like 256 colors. I don't know, people out there who were around in Windows 3.1 times uh, remember 256 colors, but it's this bizarre thing that I can't fix. It's like, once it happens, I have to restart the computer or else it like stays like that. Also, if you watch the review, you'll remember that I tried to get 144 Hertz mode running. And I tried doing that by plugging in two cables to the computer and to the monitor. And when I did that, it sort of bricked the monitor because the, br the monitor has this crazy thing where you turn on 144 Hertz mode in the monitor, then if your computer isn't like communicating with the monitor, then you can't change the setting back from 144 Hertz mode. So it essentially bricks the monitor until you can figure out some crazy workaround. I don't know why they would design it like that. Uh, there's a lot of crazy design, design decisions with this monitor. It still is a huge, huge pain in the ass to plug in a display port cable. It's like, you feel like you're breaking the, the connection. But um, I decided now that I have two display port cables, um, one of which is brand new that I'll try plugging in both and see if 144 Hertz mode works. So I did, I plugged them both in, I plugged them into the monitor and then I turned on 144 Hertz mode <laughs> and everything shut down. <laughs> it was like the monitor just said no signal and I was waiting there and I was wondering what was going on. Uh, I couldn't turn 144 Hertz mode off. It was, I was having flashbacks, even though I got, I got a 3080 Ti updated graphics card, it's still was doing whatever weirdness it was doing. Um, and then the computer made the Windows startup sound. And I was like, oh, I guess the computer restarted. Okay. And then the Windows start screen popped up. I was like, great. And then I uh, opened up Windows and I, I saw that it was on 144 hertz. Fantastic. And honestly, it looked, it was pretty good. Like, Everything was working and then I turned HDR on and I don't know if they advertise that you can use HDR with this, but you can't. <laughs> uh, it, it, clearly, clearly one monitor is providing half the data and the other monitor other, and the other cables providing the other half because half the monitor just goes completely crazy. But um, I turned HDR off and I was expecting for the, com the monitor to like give me that weird color from before, but it didn't, it just went back to normal. So that was good. And then I wondered if I turn off 144 Hertz mode, uh, does that mean that I will then be able to do HDR? So I turned it down to 120 Hertz, turned on HDR and it worked and it was fine. It, it was like, it was perfect. No complaints. I think that having it plugged in with both cables fixes the issues. I mean, I just did this like today, so. I am cautiously optimistic, but running Windows 11, the latest build, like there was an update that came out for HDR that I decided would be my impetus to, you know, try new things with the monitor again. You know, I mean, so far, like I have HDR on now. Five minutes later. So after I filmed that first bit, I decided to unplug one of the two cables, restart the computer, turn off 144 Hertz mode, just to show what it was like with the one cable and to get some B-roll. And then once I was done with that, I turned the computer off, plugged in the second monitor, turned the computer on, turned on 144 Hertz mode. And now I don't see 144 Hertz mode anymore. It doesn't come up. Uh, I turn HDR on and it looks washed out just like <laughs> with one cable. I turn HDR off and then it gives me that weird super no color view just like with one cable. Uh, I, I tried turning 144 Hertz mode off and on. The only thing left to try, I guess, is to turn it on the way I did before that caused my computer to restart. Like, is that the best way 
to do it is to make it so that your computer crashes. So a computer crash is the best way to get it to work. I'm not sure. You know, I am just, I'm just so baffled and like, you know, I was so impressed with the HDR when I got this monitor at first and it, it just sucks that I have to always have it off. Maybe I'll put a little, I'll put some text in right here. There's going to be some text right here letting you know if I got it to work again, but like maybe for a normal person, they're not plugging and unplugging their monitor like I just did. So like if I had just kept both mon both plugs plugged in, maybe I wouldn't be here right now taking back everything I just said, but I don't know. I mean, if you have the monitor, I guess I would give it a try. There is a return policy on these things. So go ahead, buy it. And then you can return. I returned mine. I even took mine in for service because it kept clicking like the, um, as if there was something wrong on the inside, I thought it was going to catch on fire, but I think that turned out to be a cable issue. I swapped the cable and it was better. Uh, it is the cheapest of the 144 Hertz 4k monitors with HDR, which I guess doesn't matter as much if you can't use the 144 Hertz or the HDR, but Hey, it is 4k and 120 Hertz is great. Like the way I would ideally use this is I would get the two cable thing to work again, have it at 120 Hertz with HDR on. And I guess I'll just, I'll, I'll give it a quick try to see if crashing the computer will make it work because I love when that's how, how, how it works. But, um, yeah, let it, like I said, I'll let you know in a little text box if this worked or not. Hopefully it works because I want it to work. I don't want to have bullshit problems every day. I would like for the monitor to just work, but unfortunately it seems to have something against you know, doing its job. So, you know, I'll keep you updated. I hope you like this video. Please uh, subscribe for more content like this. And um, I will see you again soon.